Fancy brew? Oh, yeah, ta. Your other half decided not to show face then. I don't know. Kept in Peanuts' room. I haven't seen her. Right. What she did was bang out of order. I don't always smack in your own kid, let alone someone else's. And then to lie. Oh, better let than never. Oh, oh hello. All's that way. We started doing flexi ten. Ah, oh, yeah. Sorry, Mrs. Farlow. The thing is, Kirky usually wakes me up. But right. Well, I suggest you invest in an actual alarm clock if you want to hang on to your job. Oh well. Thanks. No, don't thank me. You can make up for the time after work, can't you? Capish. Well, I tell you what, mate, that was a close one, wasn't it? Yeah, well, not just for Paul. I mean, Carla was in the right state. She couldn't believe what she'd done. Well, I bet. Mind you, I often think that's what Tracy would do if she ever wanted to, uh, get rid of me. <laughs> and you, uh, you often think that, do you, mate? <sighs> just for the record, me and your sister, we're very, very happy. What are you doing here? Oh, bastard. Just hired him, trying to catch up on some sleep. Oh, yeah. It's horrible when that happens. Never mind, just tired. You can't be missing lectures. Oh, watch online. Oh, if that was a thing, then the lecturers would still be in bed, wouldn't they? It's only this once. What exactly are you going to be doing, then? Well, she'll catch up on some sleep, I should imagine. Well, she can't, can she? Because then she won't sleep tonight, having a cat nap. It's a vicious circle, innit? <sighs> right. Do you know what? How about I get up, get dressed and go to the cafe and do some reading? Happy? Are you sure you're all right? Apart from not having enough sleep, Steve. Leave the girl alone. But I'm only asking. Oh, I'm going to get in a shower. So, Faye, it's the Pemberton order that needs chasing, not the Pettigrew. All right, love. Yeah, sorry. No, no, no problem. You're right, Sal. You got lost or something? Uh, no, I just wanted a quick word with Faye. That's all right. All right, well, make it quick. So when they call us and tell us that they're ready for the shipment, you're going to have to get down there dead early in the morning because you're going to have to unload the van and get back here by the afternoon, all right? You're going to be all right with that. It's a long drive. I'll be fine, boss. I'll take me thermos. Right, we'll be sure to get some caffeine in you. No, leaking potato soup. Mm. So it gets me totally buzzing off me nut. Don't get any speeding tickets without leaking potato soup, will you? Don't worry. I won't let you down. I'll have your knickers dropped off by the crack of dawn. I know I can rely on you, Kirk. He just let himself in. Yeah, got in through the back. Came home and he was just stood there, bald as brass. So what'd you do? I told him to get out. Called the police. Can you believe that? I mean, is she, is she OK? She's pretty shaken up, but... Yeah, yeah. yeah. Amy's with her now. What, are they going to arrest him then, or what? They can't. But I'm hoping that this will help towards getting that protection order at the hearing tomorrow, so... Well, even if you do get it, how do you know it's going to make a difference to someone like him? I don't. That's what I'm worried about. What would you do if this was happening to Tracy? Why, if someone was stalking and harassing Tracy, I'd be very, very worried. For him, more than anything else. How about you, with Carla? Don't know. Probably have a word with him, just tell him to back off, you know? Yeah, I tried that, he didn't listen. Well, then, I'd make him listen. What do you mean? Threaten him? No, I'd do a bit more than threaten him. Oh, you are. This is the life I can't remember last time. I had some chips. Carla got you on the old broccoli and mung beans, has she? No, it's not that. It's just, you know, to get to a certain age, you've got to be careful what you eat if you want to stay in shape. Oh, yeah. What shape's that, then? <laughs> Listen, son, I might be older than you, but let me tell you... I don't believe it. He's back. You want me to have a word with him? Hold my chips. Oi! What is your problem? Actually, don't bother answering that, because I don't care. What are you talking about? I'm not doing anything. Yeah, OK, mate. You just come round here. Who are you? Don't worry who I am. Touch me again and I'll have you done for assault. Shut up! Listen to me. Stay away from Daisy, I'm warning you. Can't do that. We love each other. Is this bloke for real? Love? She doesn't love you. She's scared of you because you won't leave her alone. You repulse her. Oh, you're lying. I know what I felt the first time we spoke when she put her hand on me. I know that we were meant to be together. She talked to you because she felt sorry for you. Because your mum was dying of cancer and she thought she might have it too. She'd be better off if she had. What'd she say? I said she'd be better off having cancer than having to waste her time with someone like you. Oh! Right, right. Say that again. 
Yeah. <laughs>